Uh, this is the portable propane water heater setup we have on our little pop-up camper here. Uh, we just wanted this, you know, just have hot water for cleaning, doing dishes, whatever, um, bathing, cleaning up. It's th This unit itself is, is not rated for drinking water, and I'm assuming it's because of the materials it's made out of. Looking at the, uh, the, the connections inside, you know, the solder may have some lead in it, or some of the fittings have something that's just, just not suitable for drinking water. So definitely take that in consideration if you're considering getting one of these little units. Um, this is a small one. I, I wanted something that didn't take up much space. There's, you know, there's bigger ones. There's different sizes. You know, the, the whole gamut. This is this one's made out of, made in China. You know, it's it's, it's fairly inexpensive on Amazon, about 150 dollars. Um, came with um, a very very basic setup here. Basically, the shower head attachment. I didn't really like that. Really didn't suit what uh, what I needed to do. So I came up with something different. And, and I know this, all these hoses look like a mess. If it, you know, I'm going to trim this up. Um, I've, I've used this unit a few times at my house, um, just testing it out, playing with it. Um, we're out here at a state park now where we have full hookups, so it's, it's easy. We have electric. We have you know, water coming in. Um, this, this unit will work on very low water pressure, like 3 to 5 PSI. So it'll work with a 12-volt you know, water pump or maybe some kind of cistern system if you have enough, you know, if you're off-grid in a little cabin. You, you you have enough you know height there to get that pressure like i said even a solar powered water pump would work for this um but, but the way i have it set up here is i've got the supply of water is coming in goes inside to the kitchen sink faucet where it's cold on one side hot on the left water comes down through these hoses and i'll eventually shorten all this i just got this set up here um today uh that supply of water comes in on this side here and this is a, a garden hose fitting I attach just so it'd be super easy to take it apart, drain the hoses, uh, drain the unit, and all that kind of stuff for transport. Because, you know, this, this isn't a pop-up camper. We're, we're moving it around and stuff. Um, and like I said, the fittings it came with, those little plastic ones, I just don't think they would last very long. They'd probably work. If you take care of it, they may last a while. I don't know. But it wasn't quite what we wanted it for, so I didn't really use that. Um, what I did do is I added a T fitting here. This is the hot water coming out. So this is what goes into the camper, but this, it tees off here and has this water valve. So this is a standard garden hose fitting as well. So I can get any kind of garden hose or even that shower head attachment will fit on this. And, um, you know, you just open and close the valve here and this will have the water coming out, the hot water coming out if I needed it outside as well. The, the adjustments on this are, are pretty tricky. It takes a little while to figure it out. The way you, the heat and the, the, this basically blends the water, the, the, the cold, the, the cold supply water coming in and the hot water coming out, because as it is, it puts out a lot of heat. I have it set, you know, I, I just have it set for the maximum temperature because I have a hot and a cold valve. But if you're only using one outlet or you've got kids and you don't want it too hot, you know, you can you can adjust this and have it where it comes out quite, you know, it, it comes out scalding hot right now. So if you didn't want it like that. And, and here's the specifications on it. It's a, it's a small unit. It does take two D-cell batteries, which naturally isn't ideal that's just it, it works off pressure so it knows um like the unit's off right now when you open the valve the hot water valve the pressure drops a little pressure sensor in there picks that up and kicks on the the, the propane burner and it heats it up and you've got tankless instant hot water and it doesn't take long at all to get hot and it gets very hot very fast um, the unit seems to work pretty good we've used it a few times at the house so like i just had the hot water coming in so i've got I added a second um, water inlet, so one goes to the hot side, one goes to the cold side. I never did use the onboard water pump on this on this trailer. You, you could just as well just have where it comes out of your pump go into here, like so, whether it's on your trailer or a little off-grid cabin or whatever. You know, your water supply. You could you could do that there, but you know, we're when we're taking the trailer out, we're usually spoiled and have hookups. So when we when we camp, we usually don't bring this thing. So all right, it works pretty good. It's good buy. It's nice to have some hot water and you know good for cleaning, especially in the winter when it gets really cold and you know after you're cooking and the greasy fatty stuff or whatever just doesn't want to clean it up and you need to clean your hands, you know, rinse off, do whatever you got to do. But it's nice. All right, thanks for watching.